uh, disease called COVID-19. Present scientific studies have shown that COVID-19 curve in the Philippines has flattened. Wala mga uh, no significant uh, uh, contamination has been noted by government. This means that the government effort that were guided by the best interest of public health and the crucial data provided by medical science paid off. Ito kasi mga kababayan ko, ito yung mga ginawa nating preventive measures kagaya ng COVID uh, quarantine. Nakatulong talaga yon Malaking tulong yon because kukunti lang ang taong naglalakad na magkocontaminate ng iba. At yung iba naman, Umiwas, and so there were less uh, COVID people and less people going around. One important factor that contribute, contributed to this development is the awareness of the public. And we truly appreciate the majority of those who are following the minimum health protocols set by the IATF. Ganito yung Sumunod kasi kayo sa pagbawal ng mga pinagbabawal ng gobyerno. We had uh, obedience and people followed. That meant a lot and contributed uh, to what, uh, what is happening now. That there is a flattening of uh, cases. Uh, Yung local government executives also played a vital role in the implementation of antivirus or virus measures in the localities. Merong iba talagang to the hill uh, uh, followed protocol to a T. Well, it redounded to the benefit of the people of the localities. And uh, I salute you for uh, doing your duty very well. Uh, despite of these positive developments, we would still be vigilant and none that complacency overwhelm us and reduce our sacrifice to enough. Remember that eh, the lessening of contamination, wala na masyadong tao na karoon ng COVID, is not because COVID-19, the germ, is gone. It is there, floating around us. Kaya lang, ang mga tao sumunod na, hindi mahawak, alcohol ka agad. The mask was one important factor. Yung mask talaga, uh, nakatulong ng mabuti. At uh, it was to your advantage that you followed government. Now, the key to winning this war against COVID is uh, the collective resolve for the people to remain healthy and uh, you know, maintain the protocols that you are now practicing. Alam mo kasi, sinabi ko nga, mayroon na. I think it's a Moderna. It's a U.S. company. I think they are ready by... Uh, September, hindi nga. Sabi ko nga, pabilisan na sila. Uh, Sinovac uh, ng China is also ready. Uh, kung sino, pare pareho lang naman yan. Parehong germs yan eh. Kung sino lang nauna, magbigay sa atin na mura, doon tayo pupunta. Kasi they know that they do not have enough money. Kung mahal masyado, we will go for the uh, less expensive ones. It does not mean na uh, mas mahosa yung sa Amerika o yung sa China inferior or ang Russian maganda. Yun naman gawa ng ibang nations. Hindi masyado maganda. No such thing because what is being cultured 
and cultivated and then harvested and placed in your body is the same germs COVID-19. Walang pagkaiba. So hintayin na lang natin o bilisan. Sa ibang countries, sige na sila. Uh, in Brazil, because tinamaan sila nung si, dahil yung Bolo, bo, bolo, son, bolo Sonero, the president there, medyo ano kasi siya eh. Hindi ka agad naniwala. Uh, marami tuloy ang natamaan. America because ayaw talaga karamihan maniwala ng Amerikano. Even with the presence of uh, clear danger, uh, the American seems to us, tayong nakatingin sa kanila from the outside, na ligo ng dagat, puno yung beach, uh, everybody was partying and they were not obeying the police. Uh, being a democracy, nahihirapan ang gobyerno nila, just like ours, kung paano natin i-control and impose the protocols. Ayaw ko na lang sabihin uli because I do not want to quarrel with you. But those cities I mentioned before, even during the early stages of the prohibitions, nasabi ko, kayong mga taga dyan, you are, paparte kayo, ilang beses kinahuli ng media, na ganon, ganon, ganon. Bali, wala sa inyo. Ang isa naman, napadaan kami doon, eh, ganun rin, para kayong, parang walang, walang COVID at all. So, pure, pure bravado, you have, you have to pay. And uh, you, you paid with the, uh, a high rate of contamination. Hanggang ngayon, mataas. Hindi ko lang sabihin, ayaw ko mag-insulto ng tao. Kung sinabi ko noon, kayo talaga. Uh, mahirap kayong pasundin. Uh, even yung mga kababayan ko na Bisaya, nako, hindi ko mapasunod. So, ganun yan. Ngayon, dito, ang mabuti lang sa atin kasi ang 184 total reported recoveries. Ang taas ng recovery natin. Aywan ko, maybe because of the climate or the constitution body itself. Yung, yung constitution body mo. You may have, Filipinos may have more uh, antibodies in the world. Sa bagay yung Huwag ko kayong mainsulto kasi totoo naman. Pero wala ko nakita ang taga-squatter na tinawaan. Wala sa Dabao. Tanong ako ng mga bata. Wala. Sabi nila, ano yan? So, nanari, nari i care about uh, COVID. So, ito yung lumaki sa ano eh. So, uh, all these years from infancy, to how old they are now. Hinigop nilang lahat ng ano, kagaw, kaya nagkaroon na sila ng panlaban. Maliit pa. Pag lumusot kasi yan sila nung no, maliit pa, nagkasakit. Five, six, seven, eight. Pag lumusot yan, pag malaki na yan, matatag yan. Hindi na tinatablan. Pero, alam nga, do not be too complacent about it just because you think that you have the antibodies. You might really have the advantage, but the law of averages always takes its toll. Mamalay mo, matamaan ka talaga. So, total active is 49. Maliit na lang. 83. Nag-flood din na nga. Total cases, 228, pero it is upset by the recoveries at uh, wala masyadong severe contamination. So, 
let us go back to the main platform of our program and uh, uh, if there's anybody who'd want to report uh, kindly raise your right hand say you want to report first kasi wala mag ano na lang ako Hindi, unahin ko na muna itong si ano. May I announce it first? Tell na. Ito bang si Pemberton? Ito yung American serviceman na nakulong. Tapos, uh, hindi malaman ngayon ng gobyerno anong klaseng computation gawin. Anong factors to contribute to the equation that would arrive at the reasonable conclusion that these things uh, happen and should be there included uh, sa pag-compute. Alam mo, <clears throat> I am not favoring anybody, neither Pemberton nor the family. Pero alam mo, itong gobyerno, uh, may konting ano dyan, dapa. Kasi sa good behavior, kailan i-compute mo sa lahat, detain siya for the crime, facing trial, and prison siya for the crime. Iba yung detenado ka habang yung kaso uh, ini pinapanggan ng korte trial iba naman yung detenado ka na sentensyado ka na after trial siya kasi well being tried deten deten detain na siya tapos nung na-convicted siya tuloy-tuloy na ngayon Ganito yan. The basic fault there is when you talk about uh, uh, good behavior, lahat na kwintahin mo. Ngayon, kung hindi mo, kwint uh, hindi mo kwintahin, may kasalanan ka rin because they say that it is uh, part of uh, your being in prison. Sa ayat mo sa hindi, nagkakulong ka rin. So you are a person deprived of liberty. Ngayon, ang pagkwenta, hindi alam nila kung kasali ba o hindi. At may record. E walang record kasi yung lugar, alin doon na nagditinado si Pemberton, sa Marines, sa Garrison. Ang Marisons never kept a record of the hindi trabaho ng Marines yan na magbantay kasi hindi yan sila BJMP o tagamunting lupa. BJMP noong hinihir pa yung kaso. Munting lupa yung sa loob na tagamunting taga lupa. Iba yan. Tandaan ninyo ito ha. Yung detenado ka pa lang hinihir yung kaso mo BJMP ka. Hindi ka makakulong sa munting lupa. Ngayon, kung matapos na ang kaso, sentensyado ka, bibitawan ka na ng BJMP, ibigay ka na doon sa mga munting lupa personnel. Yung ngayon, yung kaso pag, yung, sa pagkapreso niya, wala silang record so, pagka walang record, di mo malaman kung nabilang ba o hindi. Oh, well. Pagka ganun, hindi kasalanan ni Pemberton. He is not required to keep his record of his own and characterize his behavior there inside while in prison, detenado for the hearing. 
Ngayon na sentensyahan na siya, napunta na siya ng munting lupa. Mayroon naman mga BG, hindi na mga munting lupa personnel. Doon nababantayan na sila. Ngayon, ikakwenta pa ba yung ano? Ang problema nito, ganito. Sino magsabi ngayon na noong detenado siya, nagkakalat siya sa loob, sumisigaw siya, o sinisira niya, he destroys uh, things. Wala eh. Kasi walang listahan. Wala namang nakalagay doon. Because wala talaga. So it is not the fourth of Pemberton na hindi na nakompute because we should allow him the good character presumption. Kasi wala namang nag-report ng Marines na nagsabi nagwawala siya. The Marines could have reported if it were otherwise to the Secretary of Justice or to the police, to the PNP, na itong tao na ito magulo. Uh, parang lasing, uh, araw-araw, sisigaw. You know? So, yung presumption, kasi wala namang sumbong, hindi wala ginawa yung tao masama. Na in fairness, tapos na yung kwintada. He eh, was recommended re to be released. I-release mo. Kaya, isip-isip ko, nakikinig lang ako sa yung sa newspaper, pati sa radyo. Sabi ko, it is not fair. Hindi makatarungan. So, sabi ko kay Justice Secretary, Midal Dia, pati si, pati si uh, ang Secretary of Pinatawag ko sila dito ngayon. Kanina, Nardo Guevara, sabi ko, it's my decision to pardon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but ito ang tingin ko sa kaso. You have not treated Pemberton fairly. So, i-release ko. Pardon. Eh, pardon, walang mga question yan. It's, uh, wala, wala talaga. It cannot be questioned anywhere. And it's not because of that that I pardon Pemberton. Kaligaya ko na lang magpakulong ng mga buang, mga gago. But you know, if there is a time where you are called upon to be fair, be fair. Be fair. Ngayon sabi mo, Duterte, fair ka ba dyan sa mga drogista? Uh, be cruel. Be cruel. Putang ina ninyo, sinabi ko nang let's say kayo. Sinisira ninyo yung bayan. Uh, we would like now to go to the report of uh, the Secretary of Justice, uh, Justice Guevara. Yung ano niya, update niya doon sa PhilHealth. Sir, go ahead, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this afternoon, we called our very last uh, resource person or witness in the ongoing investigation of alleged uh, field health anomalies. Uh, and uh, I was there when uh, I was called to this uh, urgent meeting with you. But uh, we expect that uh, all our hearings will be conclu concluded today uh, this evening, Mr. President, and since uh, uh, that uh, particular resource person or witness is our last one, then uh, starting tonight and the rest of the week, we will be consolidating and analyzing all the information and evidence that we have gathered through uh, seven hearings conducted by the task force since uh, we formed it upon your instructions. So uh, by uh, September 14, Mr. President, that's on Monday, we should be able to submit to you our report and our recommendations, including the possible filing of administrative and or criminal cases against persons in field health who we shall find to be probably responsible for certain anomalies or uh, irregularities. 
Meantime, Mr. President, the various composite teams that uh, the task force created comprised uh, or composed of uh, representatives from the NBI, the AMLC, uh, the uh, PACC, and, uh, um, and uh, uh, some other agencies which form part of the task force will continue, Mr. President, with uh, building up the cases. Because what we, uh, what we did during our hearings was basically to uh, get a bird's eye view, an overview of the problems uh, obtaining at PhilHealth. But the matter of building up actual cases will probably require more time because we've got to gather the actual evidence, uh, uh, procure the necessary witnesses to support uh, the complaints. So we're hoping that we'll be able to file uh, a few of these cases before we submit our report to you or uh, maybe even after. We'll just recommend uh, in our report to you the filing of these cases. But the actual filing May, uh, may happen, Mr. President, after the submission of the report because of this need to make sure that any complaint that we are going to file will be backed up by competent evidence. So that's uh, what our uh, composite teams are doing right now. And uh, even after the submission of our report to you, Mr. President, if even after the term of the task force is finished, we intend to continue this uh, investigation being conducted by composite teams, not just by the COA or not just by the NBI or not just by the PACC, but a joint effort of all of these uh, um, agencies focused and coordinated so that uh, uh, a, uh, a uh, proper buildup of cases can be done. We're uh, very happy that uh, the new president and uh, chief executive officer of PhilHealth, whom you appointed recently, was a former NBI director. And uh, we hope that uh, with him there, it will be much easier for the composite teams of the task force who will continue investigating to be able to, de to do their job more easily with uh, uh, former director Giran at the top of the agency. So uh, uh, that's what we intend to do, Mr. President, for the rest of the week. And uh, we, we hope that uh, you, will, you will have the report in your hand at the latest on Monday, September 14. And that's all for now, Mr. President. Okay, thank you. Uh, so it's uh, a report that is uh, uh, expected with... Uh, so much uh, enthusiasm, actually, for those who are in the right uh, thinking of what is right and wrong. Anybody else who would like to make a report at this time? So, yes, uh, Secretary Lorenzana. Mr. President, uh, for information lang po. Uh, maganda po ang nangyayari ngayon sa buong bansa, mababa na po yung cases. From a high of about 10,000 plus before, it's now to about 2,008. So, it's good. Ang ginagawa po ng task force ngayon, ay iniputan namin yung mga lugar <clears throat> at tinitingnan yung kanilang mga ginagawa. Uh, tatanungin namin, we are not there to assess or to audit them but to find out how the national government can help them. Uh, so I went to Kalokan last Saturday and commended them for uh, their good job. From uh, a high of 90, ngayon, less than 10 na lang ang kaso nila every day. So doing well po sila dyan. Meron lang tayo mga ibang pumuputok, Mr. President, like Bacolod, Iloilo, and Jensan. So yan ngayon ang pinagtutuonan natin ng pansin. Secretary Simato is there now in, uh, in the Western Visayas. And sometime uh, this week or next week, I mean, the, uh, Secretary uh, Galvez pupunta naman sa Jensen, Mr. 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 President. Yun lang po, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Lorenzana. Secretary Doge. 
Uh, good evening, Mr. President. I'll just have a uh, just a one uh, slide uh, presentation. Pwede bang makita yung slide number eight? Uh, just to support the uh, report of uh, sec, uh, Lorenzana, I want to show the distribution of recent cases by municipality uh, city of the NCR as of September 6, 2020. Uh, one slide back. One slide back. Uh, one slide, sige ba? Back. Back Samar. Yan, 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 yan. Sir, ito po yung mga cities of NCR. Yan, Quezon City, City of Manila, Caloocan City, all the way down. Yung total number of cases of so NCR is uh, 35,040 uh, uh, last uh, three, four weeks from August 10 to August 13. So bakit po natin yung recent 1 to 2 weeks, August 24 to September 6, ang laki ho nang ibinaba, naging 24,517. Uh, bumaba po siya ng 10,523 uh, difference of uh, uh, 35,040 and 24,517. At ito po ay nagsasalamin uh, ng negative 30% ang difference po, no? Kung makikita niyo po yung mga graph sa kanan, marami po pababa, pababa yung mga bars, uh, Mr. President. So halos lahat po ito talagang nagbabaan ng kanila po ng uh, mga uh, kaso. So maganda po ang nangyari dahil nag, uh, you, you uh, allowed uh, MECQ to be, uh, to be imposed uh, beginning uh, August uh, 3 to August 18. So nakatulong po ito, Mr. President, sa pagbawas ng uh, uh, contact rate, transmission rate. At uh, kaya naman po makikita natin ay halos uh, yung difference dun sa uh, growth in cases, purus negative. Except for just one uh, place... Uh, Actually, wala nga. Lahat talaga nagkwan eh. Bumaba ang number of cases, uh, Mr. President, without exception. So all the cities and municipalities, well, just one municipality for NCR, uh, malaki ho ang binaba. Yan o, negative 30% ang change. So yung pong uh, uh, pumayag po kayo, Mr. President, ako po yung papasalamat dahil uh, kung hindi po sa inyong uh, enhanced uh, modified enhanced community quarantine ay eh baka hindi po natin nakamit itong malaking porsyento ng pagbaba ng mga kaso uh, sa mga naturan lugar ng uh, NCR. So, yan lang po uh, Mr. President, ang ibig ko pong uh, bigyan diin. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Secretary Duque. I think uh, this winds up our uh, discussion for today. By the way, uh, Secretary Doke, this is not the time for you to resign. Hindi ba panahon mag-resign? So, uh, I've heard stories about you re going to resign. I have full trust in you. Ang akin lang naman yan, yung corruption. Ay, wala ka doon sa ano. Uh, tinignan namin yung papel. Unless there's, there's a specific finding sa batas, uh, sabihin mo lang sa akin, but as of now, I uh, have full percent. There's, there's, there's an investigation going on. Let it be. Uh, if uh, you are not guilty of uh, corruption, um, ang kalaban ko lang ho, yung corruption, yung... Well, let us see doon sa ano mo yung negligence mo. Pero, you know, if you handle a big uh, organization, uh, I had a chance when I became mayor and then president. Talaga mo negligent ka. Kasi hindi mo mahabol minsan eh. And sometimes wala yung papel. So these are the things that uh, sabi ko sa'yo, uh, that, that one that really matter to me. What matters is yung corruption. Pero kung hindi ka corrupt, wala ka namang 
when you do not have uh, any reason to resign. Thank you very much, sir, for your continued trust. Mr. Secretary, we're on the same boat. Actually, alam ko ang trabaho mo. Me, even an appointment, sometimes I want to take a look at the background of the... Isa military lang ilan yan. Pag promote mo yung isa, uh, there will come a time na i-promote mo lahat. Promotable na yan. Kasi yan, iba pakante na. Napapromote na yung nag-retire. So marami yan. And sometimes yung mga kay, kay Dominguez na papel about itong mga contract of loan, binabasa ko talaga yan kasi I do not delegate it uh, to na. Hindi magkaya na ibang presidente na pagka may initial na yan, ibig sabihin, okay na yan. Eh ako raw hindi eh. Binabasa ko yun talaga sa kwarto at ako laman mong isa. So, wala akong katulong dyan. Minsan na nakatulog ko. Sometimes, abutin ako ng alas 6. Pagka sabihin na nag-pile up ng ano, eh, review ko, basahin ko. Uh, sometimes, the earliest is 7 o'clock. Bago ang matulog, magkain ako ng breakfast. Ganon ang, ano, kaya naiintindihan kita. If it's just a negligence of the Uh, coming up with the papers on time. Uh, tingnan lang ho nila muna trabaho natin. Uh, yung madali man magpirma, kung pirma lang. Ang pirma mo kung pumotok, puputok yan sa mukha mo. Di ganun. Pareho tayo. Pareho. Hmm. So... Ako, ako. Katawa ko. I have to express my uh, my frustration, sir. I, I hope you don't mind. Eh, yung nga mga pumirma, hindi man sila nirecommend. Eh. Yung, hindi pum yung mga pumirma, hindi nirecommend for filing of uh, the cases. Yung hindi pumirma, yun lang ang idinawit. Parang, bakit naman ganon? But height of injustice, unfairness, And masakit po yan, sir. Hmm. Yung hindi ka nga pumirma, ikaw pa yung idinadawit. Ipinipilit na idawit. Yun, sir, ang hindi ko matanggap lang sa dibdib ko. Hindi ako nakakatulog ko dahil dito, sir. Ang... Ang... ang what, what, what goes in my favor, actually, if someday pag-retire pag na ako, is that all papers sa transactions sa... Uh, in yung mga departamento, uh, you know very well na hindi talaga umaabot sa akin, lalo na yung pera, purchases, ganun, wala. Wala, hindi tayo mga ayaw ko talaga. That's, uh, that has been the rule that I have imposed on you. I'm, I'm saying this so that the people will know. Na wala akong ano, basta yung transaction, yung, yung mga itong put, put, Gaya nitong reclamation, magbigay ka ng 10,000 hectares. Mag-reclaim ng 10,000 hectares. Di buong, buong luneta na. So, tinanggal ko yung ano, walang processing ngayon ng papel sa... No reclamation projects, paper spending. And they've been there because uh, in archive go, shelf. Kasi wala akong balak na mag-approve ng... Itong, bahala na pagkatapos ko, pahit sila. Pero wala akong ano dyan sa... Lakaran eh, lakaran. Ah, pag ano, ma ma maamoy ko, na, wala na. 10,000 hectares. 10,000 hectares na sa hindi square meters. Kaya, one of these days, magtawag ako ng bakasyon. Bakasyon tayo, mga, mamili ka sa lugar. 
sekretary. Wag lang labas sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Dito lang. Maybe we will visit Spratly. No. But we will also invite the Americans to come along. No, going to a sightseeing tour. Ang pala yung sa China may bago ng ano, ambassador. So I hope uh, everything will be the same as is. So, U.S. pala, U.S. Uh, ang, ang China, ang, hindi ko pa rin na ano. I, ha I have a meeting pa sa kanya. Ah, okay. Hindi pa na ano yung China. Hindi ako nagkamali kasi hindi ko pa nakita yan. So, we will have a, I have a dinner, I think, with him. She came, is out. So, yun lang naman siguro for today. Let's go back to work para tangina yung akin. Bakit ba gano'n lang bigla na lang ka tinapos ko na to the last totoo yan ha, honestly. Makita ninyo yung flow. Wala na, dalawang araw, walang ba? Ngayon, Kita ko sa kwarto, tinambak, ganun kataas na naman. Ay, anak na po. Buisit. Akala ko, makauwi ako ng Davao. Ganun nga. One week siguro yan. It take me one week to review. Ang matagal yung kagaya ng I want to know the background of the appointee. Lalo na sa military, ganun. Tinigod, gusto kong titignan. Papakuha po ko ba yung papel? Matagal pa magdating sa akin. May routing May route eh. May routing route so... Matagal pa magdating sa hintay. Eh. Or oh, some additional papers to convince me na ganito. I would like to also to reiterate again na... Uh, uh, bong... Uh, dalawang bong... Bonggo pati bong medyal dia. Yung ano ko na uh, kindly agree with some of the newspapers, the leading ones, for our uh, space, uh, mga three pages yan siguro, yung projects, uh, projects ng irrigation, Department of Public Works, and highways, transportation. Although wala akong ano sa mga sekretary, gusto ko lang malaman ng anong project. Tapos kung ano, another, yung bidder kung sinong nanalo, that's another set of, uh, maybe uh, in one page, uh, under negotiation, the next page is, uh, baka may, gusto ko malaman sinong mga contractor nanalo. Marami ako sa lista, may, may listahan ako dyan sa mga demonyo na yan. Uh, malaman ko ngayon kung malaman ng tao yung estimated project tapos uh, magkano ang winning bid to whom it was awarded to and for how much. Yan ang, that will be a, a on and on stories uh, for the last two years. Gusto kong malaman uh, sinong, sinong nag-dive. Kay kung nag if it's a 50 million, deny mo ng 30, may konsabo yan. So what do you expect of a 30 million project? Tapos, 50 million, i-dive mo ng 30. Something must be terribly wrong there. That's why you have a project na is really not a project, but uh, supposedly a project, but already bidded out and constructed and completed. 
another page for completed projects. At hindi maabot siya siya na uh, limang page, magbili tayo. Eh, ano mo lang, eh, merry go round mo lang sa mga, ano, uh, today it could be Manila Times, then could be the Bulletin, and so forth and so on. Mga Philippine Daily Star, lahat sila. Basta malaman ng tao. So, ngayon, malaman ninyo kung magkano ang mga binibid na projects at saan at uh, ang importante magkano. Uh, nalo at ang, kum uh, ang kumpleto. Para makita, makita mo ninyo, puntahan ninyo, makita ninyo kung anong klase ng project ginawa. That is the rule Anything else, Lana? Yes, uh, Secretary Galvez. Sir, uh, when we visited the uh, uh, Iligan City and also the areas of Lanao del Norte and Lanao del Sur and also the part of Region 10, uh, we met uh, the different uh, uh, LGUs. Uh, the Lanao del Sur sir, Governor, Governor Jong, uh, he's uh, recommending that he be placed on MECQ which uh, I uh, consulted uh, Secretary Anyo and uh, we recommended to the ITF for the upgrading of uh, Lano del Sur as MECQ considering it is contiguous to, to uh, Iligan City. And uh, its uh, cases also rising up sir. And uh, also uh, based on the, the recommendation of uh, the NTF and also uh, with consultation with uh, the mayor of Bacolod City, uh, the cases of uh, Bacolod City is much higher than uh, Iligan City, who is also an MECQ. So we will recommend also that uh, Bacolod City uh, be placed on MECQ as recommended by the IITF. Yes, sir. Sir, Sir, dagdagan ko lang po, Mr. President. Yung sa Bacolod City, uh, yung four days po, nagkaroon sila na 462 cases, uh, new cases, and if you divide it by four days, nag average sila 135 cases, new cases per day. So that's why, sir, we strongly recommend uh, the or endorse the uh, recommendation of uh, General uh, Mel Feliciano and General and, and Secretary Simatu to... Uh, uh, escalate the uh, community quarantine to modified uh, uh, ECQ or enhanced community quarantine. Yila po, sir. No, teacher. Mula na, uh, Senator, uh, I, I must admire you for your industry. Pasalamat kami. Just uh, your presence here is just uh, as good as anybody else is watching over the oversight, because um, I, I, I encourage oversight committees of projects. Um, so, ikaw, ang sabi ko sa kay, kay Bong, if you really want to help me, you act as if you are with the opposition. Uh, huwag mo akong sabihin mga na kaibigan tayo that you were once my it's not, it ain't that way sa atin yung iba pero tayo walang kaibigan kaibigan basta may mali basta pati ako o pa sa akin siguro mahiyak na sabihin mo but call my attention but uh, you might want to may kung may ano dito masama na Tinignan mo, mapahiya ako. Give it to another uh, uh, lawmaker. Ibulong mo lang doon na ganito yung sitwasyon. Sila na ang mag, ano, they will open up everything for us. So long as there is no corruption, uh, talagang mas, mas, mas lalong masira tayo kung we tolerate it. Eh. Yan ang mahirap yung putang inang ano kang kawatan. That's, it's a very 
hard thing to swallow. Okay, uh, thank you and uh, magandang gabi sa inyo.